Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I wanted to tell you about changes that we released recently for Groove Pages. Some of the changes that I'm going to tell you about were released just recently, and some of these have already been uh, out for a week or two already. I just wanted to create a video so that you all know what is happening with the updates. So, one of the first things I need to mention is some restrictions we had to put in place for free accounts uh, on Groove Pages. So if we have a look at a free account in Groove Pages, when you are going to publish your pages and sites now, uh, publishing websites using the free Groove Pages subdomains is not going to be available anymore. We had to put these restrictions in because some of our users were uh, abusing the systems. They were just creating uh, sites that were created to to steal others information and harm users and basically these were phishing websites we didn't want to allow that anymore and we are making it harder by basically allowing only custom domains to be used with free groove pages uh, accounts so in this case if you have a free Groove Pages account, you can go into Manage Domains and you can connect your domain. As you can see, publishing websites using free domains is not available anymore. You can upgrade and then you can use the free Groove Pages subdomains. In that case, if you want to publish your free Groove Pages sites, you can connect your custom domain by clicking over here, Manage, and then just connect your domain using our tutorials uh, that we have on our YouTube channel and our help desk. Once you connected your custom domains from this drop down, just select custom domain and then you can publish your website out here. That is the restriction we had to put in place. We were forced to do that because we received complaints from users and from other companies because our users were abusing the system. Now on a much more fun part, we have added a lot more flexibility for the text styling users were asking us on how do I actually underline a text on a button and that was not available previously only on the normal uh, text and paragraphs and headings you you had the option to underline things now when you click on a button inside the text options we added a little bit more styling functionalities like uh, like uh, up like uh, not underline but upper line and the uh, italic and and underline and then also a strike through. So now you have all of these options to manage the text on different elements like buttons, even here, even here, and, and basically on any kind of element that has any styling options. We also have a new functionality, which is a page redirection. Previously, when you wanted to redirect a page, you had to work with different codes and things like that. Now it's not needed anymore. The way you do a page redirect is you go onto a page and you decide which page you want to redirect let's just say this donate if somebody wants to go and donate we can send them over to a donation platform somewhere and that you do by going to the settings and here you have enable page redirection you can turn this on and then once turned on you can select do you want external or internal pages to be opening once this uh, this URL is is typed into the browser you can redirect to an external URL just type in the URL over here or you can do internal pages on your site so you basically select a page where you want to redirect users and that's basically it with the redirection option so now this is a little bit more easier than copy pasting some code from the internet and then managing it here in Inside a code include section, we made it a little simple toggle switch so that you can manage the redirection from here. We also managed and improved our screenshot system. So in case you come back to your sites and uh, in certain cases when you still see this site preview generating, you may need to resave or republish your sites and then the actual screenshots are going to be created what we did is we have a completely new system managing the screenshots and all of these images that are showing are now web b which means that the actual loading of the sites is going to be much faster uh, within the platform it's another cool thing that we have added is for your funnels if you have a funnel and you don't want to start your .com or .net domain using a website but directly with a funnel. Now you can go into a funnel and then 
select the home page of your funnel and then decide to set it as a home page from here. Now you can see that your funnels home page is the index page. Once you publish your site, it's going to act. So this page is going to act like the .com. So your site.com or something like that. It's not going to open the website first. It's going to open the funnel first. So your pages from your website are going to be available on a URL like that. So these were the new things that we added. Let me just mention some of the things that we improved. And there is a noticeable improvement when you are doing uh, any kind of drag and drop on blocks. So now you can see that it's very simple, very smooth drag and drop. Let me just zoom out so I can show you a little bit easier. So if you take a block, you're immediately going to see the white spaces where you can drop your block. And it's, it's much smoother now than it was previously. So you can now immediately see where the blocks are going to be dropped just by seeing those white spaces. We created a little spacing in between the different sections of the blocks and now you can just drag in another one in between. We also fixed the, the my site screen or the my yeah my site screen. This is where you can see all of your sites that you created. So what we have right now is we have an infinite scroll that was previously not very fluent, not very fluid to be honest. It was uh, it was kind of stopping. Now it when you scroll down to the bottom in a one or two seconds, it just opens the the rest of your pages in your account, and then you can just scroll down a little bit lower. This is kind of a lazy loading, so it, we don't load in all of your sites at the same time, but we load in in just a couple and then when you only scroll down to the bottom of the selection we s we open another uh, another bunch and then we kind of manage the load so your sites are shown up fast and it's just a smoother experience we also did some improvements to the checkout element and the checkout element was cons uh, consisting of two different uh, two different elements one was groove cell element and there was a, sp a specific uh, checkout element. Now we merge these two into one. So when you're using a checkout embed element over here, you drag it out and you can see this placeholder. When you click on the placeholder in the configure options, you can select use a placeholder image, use a groove cell checkout, which is, which is going to open your groove cell uh, selector so you can choose your funnels. And you also have the option to use external checkout using an embed code. Now the embed code is over here in the sidebar. So no need to click the update and go to the cogwheel and embed it there and then click say and things like that. So it's much more smoother than it was previously using this little uh, drop down option. If you want to just put in a placeholder, let's say you're creating a template for something, you can just use a placeholder image and then use that so users can pre populate the checkout with their own content. If you are selling for yourself, just select the funnel, select the products that you want, and then you are good to go. And if you just want to embed a checkout from a third party, uh, third party provider, third party app, you can just paste that in here and then click update. So that's the improvement we did for the checkout element. We also added a new option for the pop-ups. So in case you had pop-ups and let's just say you had one button on the on the pop-up for subscribing. Now you also have the option to just add a normal button in here. Let's just add it below. And this button can act on pop-ups as an exit button. We have an option to close the pop-up and click Okay, so this button can act as a link, but you can also make it so that it acts as a close button. And this is uh, this is interesting in options like uh, no, I am not interested. So that you actually give your users an option. You are transparent and you give your users an option to manage. So in case they click to no, I'm not interested, it's going to close the pop-up in case you turned on this toggle switch, basically this option over here. Once you're done, make sure you click the update button. And then once you save, it's going to act as a close on a button click, which is quite interesting. We also had a couple of fixes. I'm going to show you here a list. And these fixes are for background image issues. Uh, there were issues when 
no repeat was set up it always went back to repeat now that is fixed cloning issues of containers and elements on the canvas previously when you actually selected anything to be cloned it just cloned it but didn't copy over the styles and, and in certain cases it was also not clickable you couldn't configure or style the buttons or, or any other element or containers now that is already fixed you are not subscribed to this application in certain cases when you started a site from a template you received an error which was saying you are not subscribed to this application it was a strange thing that happened and now we managed it and we just it just doesn't show anymore it works beautifully we also manage the min width and max width corrections so that is when you are si sizing something when you go into uh, an element when you select an element and you go into into any kind of sizing you also have min width and max width options here the min width was uh was not set up as parent default we didn't know what the minimum width is and now we we basically set up as a parent default another thing that we did are corrections for min width and max width this is the setting in sizing so when you click on an element and you go into sizing you have min width and max width settings we now have parent default that you can actually set up the minimum width will be uh, will be default setting that you decide over here or the maximum width is going to also be the default that that you set up previously in case you want to manage it cannot go further than x pixels or percentage then you can set this up a little bit easier and the changes are going to stick much more clearly than previously uh, pop-up issues when assigned to a page and then that page is deleted yeah that was a tricky issue when uh, some users users reported that they had a pop-up but it was not showing up here on the canvas and in certain cases that was happening because they had the pop-up appear on a specific page and they saved it and then they delete this page so it also deleted the pop-up from the screen now this is a uh, this this is managed and it's fixed so it's not going to happen uh, but yeah you should double check when you assign a page over here and it shows a page but you don't have that page then that could potentially shouldn't anymore but that could potentially be uh, something that you need to double check saving of pages doesn't work we had some issues with saving of the pages it was giving up a server error that's fixed and also pages tab is not spaced properly not all pages are visible on the screen earlier when you clicked over over here to the pages or any funnel pages over here um, let me just go back over here for example or webinar pages there was a, um, a tricky static situation over here where the pages were were just not not visible all the way down to the page you cannot scroll up or down and things like that so that is now fixed it is all responsive and if you have more pages than it shows you're going to have a scroll bar to scroll to scroll up and down so we are having a couple of other things in the in the test servers that we are working on right now and I'm going to do another video once those come out and for now these were the additions improvements and fixes but we have uh, quite a few many more uh, that we are going to be releasing in the next weeks so that's it if you have any questions please let us know